A, the Breakmaster here. It's going to be my Legend of Korra discussion three. And um, I'm going to talk about today is um, what is airbending's uh, special bending? You know how like uh, fire bending has thunder, earth has metal, you know, water has blood bending. So air must have something, right? So I'm curious, what do you guys have thoughts on that? Um, also, I want to talk about what is Tarlock's goal in this whole thing, this whole plan he's doing. Yeah, I need, if there's any theories I want to hear, you know, like I said, just talk about that. And the last thing I want to talk about, Korra going into the uh, spirit world or the Avatar state. She's going into the Avatar state. The preview of the next episode I just saw, go, it shows her trying to go into the Avatar state. I'm like, I got to talk about that. So I was like, I'm, I'm really excited. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about the whole um, air bending special, special, special bending. Uh... So what are you guys' thoughts like on this? Is there is there a, like an airbending airbending special tactic move or something that's different that makes it you know go with everything else? Because air couldn't could just have air, you know. I'm gonna do a spin ball and and whoo, she hit you with air. Like no, nah, there gotta be something more to that, you know. There, maybe maybe there's ability that it can take the air out of your body and then you can't breathe no more or something. Maybe that's what air can do, like for a special ability for you know. Like I said, thunder. Thunder is from fire bending, and you know, blood bending's from the what from what from the water bending and stuff like that. So like, they all have their special bending. Air has to have something. So what what, what if what if because they're all pretty cheap too. They're pretty some powerful stuff. So what if air is, is able to take the oxygen out of your body to where you can't breathe no more, or they put a dome around your head where you can't breathe and and, and, and it suffocates you and you die or something. Maybe it's that. But what are your thoughts on it? What do you guys think? Is there uh you think there's some kind of special bending for air or is it just air is left out of the whole mix like how the Byakugan is left out of the whole mix with the eyes you, you know from like Naruto <laughs> but uh yeah you across below <laughs> so also now let's talk about Tarlock's goal what is Tarlock's goal with this whole thing because he, he's now taking uh Avatar Korra somewhere else I don't know where she where he's gonna take her what he's gonna do with her but this is gonna be cr cr crazy and what is his goal what is he trying to do exactly because he's trying to eat all this power and for what exactly? What is he? What is his main goal? And if he's like um, related to to um, to his father, what's, what's his guy's name? Yukon. Yeah. If he's, if he's related to Yukon, then what is his aim? Like, is he gonna be like Yukon or something? What, what is? What is? I don't. What is Yukon? What did Yukon even do exactly? If y'all know too, leave a comment below. If you, what did you? What did Yukon do to get trialed? And then he ends up blood bending everybody or. Um, I heard that maybe there's a um, blood triad group that, that blood bends everybody that, in the um, place. But the whole point is, what what is he trying to do with all this? Because is he really combating against freaking uh, Amon? Or is he actually going to, going with him? What if Amon's um, Yukon? <gasps> no, no. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really sure what his goal is with all this. I'm not really sure what he really what he really wants besides power. I mean, and like, he's not is he really is he really going to stop? Um, Amon, or is he just playing into his hand? Because everything he's doing is going right into Amon's hand. He's like, yes, keep doing that. Do that. Okay, I want you to do this next. Okay, Darlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bam. Okay, there we go. Now I can do stuff. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, what are you guys' thoughts on that? What is Tarlark's goal in this? What What do you think he's trying to do exactly? What is main, uh, his main plan? Leave your comments below. So, um, Korra now. Korra going into the spirit world. See, I always smile when I, heard, when I say that because Korra needs this she needs to go to the spirit world she needs to have some spiritual spiritual enlightenment because she needs this like desperately she can't do airbending for crap and she just a horrible spiritualist so she needs to get into the spirit spirit world or into the avatar state to, so, so Aang can tell her something to give, give, give her some wisdom because she needs this badly as an avatar she is pretty bad so she needs this kind of uh, enlightenment going on here. I'm glad she's in the next episode. She's going to try to. because. And then the thing is, if she tries, she better not give up either. Because she's, she gets frustrated too easily. As you know, when she was trying to do her avatar or airbending training, she ends up getting frustrated about that and then just kind of wants to give up. You know what I mean? She can't give up on this. She has to keep trying. Th this will only make her a better avatar. Because her avatar right now, she's, her being an avatar right now is just... She's like a regular person at me at the best. So she's just not there yet, you know. She needs that. She needs that lightness. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, 
There's also a flashback. I guess it's, it's also gonna happen when you when you see this. Cause I said the, the preview is freaking epic. I can't wait to, for the next episode. <laughs> so I, like, there's a flashback happens. And what are you guys thoughts on this flashback? What are you thoughts on this preview that like you saw? Actually, if, if anyone's seen it, seen it, I'll leave I'll leave it in the description if I can find it. So um, yeah, I I just I really I'm really glad to see um Korra actually be able to go into the spirit world or I mean into the Avatar state. Hopefully she can go into the spirit world too, and just. Get some wisdom. She needs this kind of stuff going on around her at this point because um, Tarlark and Amon are just showing her up right now. She they, they, she just needs to be able to do something to better equip herself to face against this kind of threat because this is too much. She can't take a, take on Tarlark and Amon at the same time. I mean, this is just it's ridiculous. That's why I'm like, I love the show. I love the show. This is gonna be hands down the best cartoon series of all time. Uh, honestly, from you know, from the Avatar last ever to this, it's just gonna be the best cartoon series of all time. I, I, I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. So, uh, leave your comments below and tell me what you guys think. Tell me your theories on uh, what's gonna happen next in the next episode. That preview for Korra, you know, in Spirit World. Um, Tarlock's goals. Like, what do you think he's trying to uh, to to succeed? What was he trying to succeed in? What's he trying to do exactly? And um. What do you guys think? Is there some kind of special airbending, uh, um, kind of move for the, for the airbenders, or is or are, are they left out? So yeah, that's what we gotta talk about today. So leave a comment below, like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Legend of Core discussion. So yeah, it's been the break, Master. Until then, break out.